This is episode 67 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, November 29th, 2021. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, Josh, and Steve deep dive into four craft beers from Pure Project, a hazy IPA, a wild ale, a fruited sour, and an imperial stout. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Yes, sir. We got tech guy, Steve. Hello. And special guest host, Josh. Josh is over oh. cleaning out my tap lines for me. Yeah. There you go. Always glad to be here. So we hooked up some King Sue for next week. <laughs> Get ready, folks. It's you- going to be a wild one. I usually say yes when somebody says, hey, you want to come drink some beer with me? <laughs> there you go. Good well, to go. Today, we, uh, we got four beers from one brewery. So, uh, what's the brewery that we have today, Charlie? I'm not going to uh, pure stay away from saying it. Pure, not pure. He's not allowed. <laughs> pure, pure project, ladies and germs. Pure project. And we're going to so, hit it hard. So we're not going fishing on the pier. No, pure, pure. Okay. P U R E project. You spell the project part. There but, you go. Uh, well, let's hit it, Charlie. I will. Don't say. I think our uh, two things. I'm not. Scared and responsible. So our, our first beer up is a uh, New England double IPA Petrified. Ooh. It's their brand new murky IPA. Uh, picked this up at, at um, Valley Farms. Valley Farms. 20% off, by yes. the way, yes, that today. day. It features uh, Nectaron, a proprietary hop from New Zealand that we're featuring for the first time, along with... Um, uh, a, a couple other um, favorite South Island hops, Nelson Seven, and, and, no, and uh, Mo Tuaca. Right One of those. Well, he's going to start drinking fast. Yeah, he better. Uh, you know, I had to get a he knows where the other ones are, yeah, so he can I get can. up and walk around. Well, we all can walk. He's not around. connected to a wire. Charlie, looks like you took half that first. Yeah, I did. We, you know why? Because I problem. missed out last time. Oh, is that what it is? These guys suck down a few good beers, and I only got a sniffle of them. Be honest with you. I'm a big fan of those New Zealand hops, or those Southern Hemisphere hops. Hey, something about a murky IPA from Pure. Pure. So he's got a beard going. Mm-mm-mm. Beard rubbing. Mm-hmm. Beard rub. It's not me. <laughs> that isn't me. me. <laughs> I'm the only. I got a longer it, beard than you. And mine's was, way it down it here. Me. So it was me. I'm you gotta go. extend it slightly. It was, me. It was you. Yeah. It was me. You tri- oh, Roger, trim Steve, you up from Steve, Pappy's. When are you going to grow your beard? I think we get Pappy's Can't. to sponsor us. <laughs> All right, what do, you, what do you think of that, Josh? Electric. It's petrifying. Yeah, it's super cold. It is really, really cold. Mm. And I just got a glass right out of the freezer, so I got to let it. Ooh. No, it's delicious. No, that's soft. It's the, the mouthiest, softest, mouthiest beer they've made yet. That's right up there with... Uh, Thousands of money. Do you know, Steve? Nope. We're going to have to start opening two. It's gotta, I'll, I'll buy another one. <laughs> yeah. A little, a little skimpy on it. Like he pours half of it, and then we got to split the rest. Well, hey, yeah. get used to it. That's all right. I'm just saying. I'm making He's observations. doing it for the video. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like we got to have a pour It's out got of that soft thing. sweetness, juiciness super, to it. Super soft. There's an opener over there. Somebody can handle it. It's down on the lower level. Just in case, I got to get to the next bottle. Thank you. Sir. Pillowy soft. That's oh, really good. I'm liking it. What was the uh, what were the uh, hops in this bad boy? Uh, Nectaron, Nelson Savin, and uh, Motueka. Oof, Mo to mm. And it you does, guys, it's you got bought a, this. You bought this last night. Yeah, we grabbed this out of Valley Farms last night. Twenty percent off. Anything. That's why those last night or there. like uh, yeah, last night. Three days. It ended last night. Mm. I went in there. And then I got all, Megan gave me a hard time today. She For came what? over and she's like, you only got one thing of spinach dip. <laughs> I, I would, I didn't, I try, I follow them on Instagram, did not see that. Cause I would have been over there grabbing me some, uh, integrin yeah. six packs. Oh, they 20, were available. Plenty yeah, of them. 20% off on those bad boys. That I'll puts, sell you a couple. Don't that worry. puts it at the brewery <laughs> price. Yeah, it does. But I, I, uh, I grabbed those two, uh, Tomahawks. You know what I forgot to get? That steak king, sauce. That king soup. No, I don't put no steak sauce on my steaks. 
That's K one <laughs> or no pseudo soup is what I was trying that's to get there. Pseudo soup. That's and really you because you, you said you couldn't find it. I pointed it out you did. to you, and then I didn't even. But I thought about buying it. On the no, way you said, "Hey, we're going to do pure." <laughs> so I grabbed a pure, and we're good to go. You're not even going to say the word, are you? <laughs> I'm not saying it. I'm not tricking you. Pure. Not going to take the bite. You know, take no. the bait. Oh, we're going sour, boys. We are going sour. I'm still unfolding this one. Mm. Charlie's running the head. I know. He's like, I didn't come it. here to watch, boys. No, I'm, I'm going to go back to this one a little bit. It's got a light, uh, citru it's got the citrusy, got a little stone fruit in there. Mm -hmm. um, I like the finish on it. It's got a, uh, it's got a little Jeez. bit, it's not a West like Coast a IPA, melony. but it's got some like bitterness to it at the end, mm. which kind of like plays against the sweetness. Wow. Which makes you want to get more of the sweetness. It smells like dirty feet. And keep drinking it. Yeah, no, that is really tasty. <laughs> Funky. It is funky, isn't it? Look at Steve. He goes, I don't know. That doesn't smell right. No. It probably tastes fantastic. Well, it's that, golden. That's what happened last week. Is that the strawberry one? This is, yeah. So this Ooh, is uh, yeah, baby. oak barrel aged spontaneous beer with Frontera strawberries Gosh, and Sauvignon good. Blanc uh, grapes. That is good. Still pre gaming here. Ooh, thank you. What do you think, Steve? Jump in there. It smells awful. Yeah, but it's it's like <laughs> it's, dirty feet. It's most of the smell like a fart, you know? Yeah, it does smell like a fart in a bottle. <clears throat> oh, gosh, it tastes good. <laughs> it is really good. Yeah, I think it's the strawberries. You smell pretty, um, it's got No, you mentioned it. I can't smell the strawberries. I, it's kind of a... I can taste some strawberry. Crazy, weird smell Here, I here's what I want to know. This is is I I love drinking sours, smelling them not so much, but love drinking them. Who was the first guy that made this and like smelt it and be like, right. we should drink that? Right. Yeah. that tastes good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like somebody had to take that risk. Like, man, that smells bad, but yeah, we but should try drinking that. Sometimes, sometimes you get some of those ones. I'm serious. I've smelled some funkies, and I mean. Dirty sock, sweaty know. underwear type stuff. <laughs> sweaty underwear. That's the name of my new like band. But uh, yeah, <laughs> then you drink it and you're like, holy cow, this is ridiculously yeah. good. I'm not getting, maybe it's just me and I, you know, going from a hazy to a sour. I'm pretty right sure away. it is you then. Thanks, Charlie. You're not getting any of the strawberry? Nope. I'm getting a little of the wineness to it, the Sauvignon yeah. Blanc. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that empty, by the way? No. No? <laughs> I like it. I'm a fan. Not a fan of the nose, but. Yeah, no, dude, the, the, the nose. It's like Limburger doesn't. cheese, man. You, you you can't smell it, but you can eat it. It is. It's it's like a bad cheese. Maybe that's why they drank it, you know, because cheese smells bad Ooh. and it tastes good. This thing I really is, like that. Yeah, it's it's absolutely on fantastic. Taste. But it's the smell is I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. I don't like smell I, I don't strawberry. Smell, I don't smell strawberries. I don't know if that's a no. You don't smell anything other than right. sour, it's right? Moldy like smell, moldy smelling. <laughs> it's just like but it's super tasty. So I was looking yeah. at a food timeline, and they say beer and wine started at seven thousand BC. At the same time we got pigs. Goats, cheap. Huh. Pigs? Goats, goat milk. What? There were no cheese. pigs until then? That's a, Apparently. <laughs> I find like, that hard to believe. Let's start and stuff. No, I think that's, what, what they're basically happens. saying is that we were um, domesticating. Yeah. Oh, we, we realized there were other animals yeah. running around. There was a... There was cattle a, and bison. Um, there was a documentary that I watched with Dogfish Head that he made a beer... Based off the original, what they thought was the original um, product that was produced from the original beer, because the idea of what how beer came about was like they were storing barley in clay vats, mm -hmm. and water had gotten in there, and a hot day in Egypt or something like that caused it to heat up, ferment, pulled the sugars out. Then it fermented. Hmm. And again, somebody had to look at that, smell that, and go like, we should try drinking that. I was like, who's the first guy that does that going like, I hope he doesn't die. Right, you know? yeah, right. <laughs> We're on to the next. 
searching for the sound. Now that one looks amazing. That's There's a, really no smell on this one. It's like a fuchsia pinkish. I should have. Sorry. So the searching for a sound is an innovative uh, uh, spirit of our barrel aged program. Uh, in the innovative spirit of our barrel aged uh, beer program, we proudly present searching for sound. This okay, sour, now I'm smelling cherries. This sour ale was aged for a year in plum wine barrels from our uh, from our friends at Mission Trails. The addition of organic raspberries and organic dark sweet cherries from the Washington uh, uh, contribute to the deep coral color and light pink head. Aromas and flavors of cherry pie filling, uh, cinnamon, and bright raspberry dance on the palate. I mean, I'm I'm just gonna say it because you know, this is a family show. But I'm smelling plums. You just said light pink head. I'm just. He did. He did. <laughs> I'm gonna have to agree. It is cherry. Mm, that's very better. better. It's better. Yeah, you're a little bigger fan of that. Oh, yeah. I could drink this. Well, th this one, you smell the fruit. Mm -hmm. You smell the berry. It's like yeah. the berry well, just Steve, takes over. Now, wait a minute here. When we started all this action, yep. you Ooh. neither liked like stouts it. or sours. And it's not true. I did not like sours, but I wasn't drinking stouts. Okay. But you did like stouts. So, uh, same thing. Time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> same thing. No, it's not. Relatively. But now. When you started drinking beer, you didn't drink stouts yeah, right away. Yeah. That's they all he drank. Like, they didn't drink any IPAs, so no, yeah, they, so they weren't, like they weren't at available at that time. Uh, yeah. Well, it's it was funny because I remember like Charlie for a while, and I'd bring him stouts, and he's like, "Yeah, well, it's a prohibition, right?" It, it went from it's like I want st <laughs> I want stouts all the time it's to all like, whiskey. Eh. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I we we went to many many modern time tasting, and I'm like, I'm just handing them to Josh. I'd smell them, taste them, just like a sip, and hand them to Josh. I used to invite him, knowing that. You'd get double. I would get double my stouts. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's not a bad call. It's selfish choices. Oh, wait. They like have a, a hazy. Like a creek. A creek. Sorry. It does smell like it. That's what I was going to say. It's a little yeah. like a like, creek. Yeah, yeah a lot of cherries right. in there. Damn, you smell sorry. like the oak on there. We've trained him well. It's really well, good. I did drink creeks in You were like Belgium. the baby Yoda. Ooh, and that cinnamon in there. Yeah, it's subtle, but it's there. It's oh, like man, that's it's, really good. Yeah. Grow good. That, to me, the, the flavors... You get a little bit of all the flavors in this beer. They all, they're like, they're, it's a happy balance. That is a good taste of beer. Yeah. It's, it is, you're absolutely right. It is like a creep. All right. It's this is like, super this is the, red. This is the kind of beer mm -hmm. of like somebody's like, oh, I don't like sours. You give them this. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just not Because yet. somebody's going to drink that and go like, oh, that's, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. I don't know if I'd start them off on this one, but. No, you want to do those as fruited. Yeah, the fruity well, sours are. Do we really, really call legit. those? Those are kettle sours. This is actually a kettle sour. sours are fantastic. Oh, I know. I'm not saying they are. I'm just you saying. Like, I'm going to dig a couple of them out of my cooler right here now, boy. Let me tell you, didn't come here to watch. They are, uh, they are tasty beverages. Yeah. And if you want to introduce somebody to the sours, that's the way you do it, because they're sweet, and tart, and good. Man, all these um. I'm a big fan of uh, of pure project. <laughs> <laughs> better. <laughs> Listen to the pronunciation there, ladies and gentlemen. It's better. No, I like these, like, uh, and I like these small bottles. I do They're too. great for you know running through uh, a few different beers. And um, no, I agree. They're God. I love I love the in that area, the twelve ounce area of anything right now. This is three hundred seventy five mm. milliliters, and it's seven percent. It's, I didn't uh, see the, the actual volume ABV the, on this one. Oh, the, six point three. The only thing I want in sixteen ounces right now is like an IPA, hazy IPA, lagers, even a uh, lower ABV stout. I'll take that, like a breakfast stout, or you know, this petrified, eight point three. Huh, that's a heavy hitter. Got to be careful with that, folks. It's an easy drinker, that's for sure. And it's got a cool label. Yeah, this can cool. label is legit. It's kind of textured. Yeah, it's got texture on it. And it big, looks petrified, to I'm be a, honest. I'm with. a big fan of Pure Projects can art. Yeah, they're very For good. The most part, they're pretty good. It's got to cost them a little penny, though. Yeah, but they're doing stickers now instead of the wrapped yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. Stickers are better, I would agree. It's cost effective in terms of buying cans. Mm. You can use it as wallpaper. All right, you ready for number four? <clears throat> have you guys? Um, what do we have before? Drink? 
this week. Yeah, what did you guys, uh, did you guys have anything decent? I'm going to go with uh, Solar Navigation from Catch. Mm-hmm. Did you get that from... Uh, IPA. get that from Fraser Farm? I don't know. I think so. I don't know where I've seen it. I've seen a couple of Catch, but... No, this was on tap. <gasps> wow. Where'd you get that on tap? At Catch. You were there? Yeah. Thanks for the invite, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new favorite place because then you can just walk over and get epic. Oh, there you go. It is great. They're right around the corner. And where is that at? Down in the harbor. Harbor Island? Is it? I think so. Yeah. It is, yeah. It's uh, Shelter Island. Shelter. It's like right Shelter. when you're driving yeah. on to Shelter Island. Yeah. Isn't it? Is yeah, it right Shelter Island? Right, yeah. yeah, right by the seafood place. Yep. The yeah. place you guys would like, right near the place you guys Mitch's. Are Mitch's. Yeah, down, by, down past Mitch's. We went there with... Uh, we went to... Oh, we did go to Catch. Yep. I was not impressed. They had very little on tap at that point. So I was kind of... Really? Is that it? I was looking for a hazy, though. I mean, I'll say I'll say it up front. Yeah. Uh, Josh, what'd you have? Yeah, uh, so I had... Uh, I was looking it up because I wanted to get the name right, but it's from Resident. I just... Uh, my, I got tickets to uh, Hairspray. <laughs> first broadway show in san diego since covid so okay. it was opening night it was amazing charlie i'll you bet it was say what you want but it was fun but anyways because we were down there we went to the local which is the resident brewery right around the corner mm -hmm. they're in the same building um and i had the uh, no no joe double ipa mm -hmm. that uh joe musgrove wait a minute with him did you like it I, I i did it was good you're the only one i've met that's liked it are you sure it's the same one? Because it's the only, it, they just released it. I thought it was good. I had uh, Chasing Citra was another one they had that was on tap. Mm -hmm. really that like one that. was really good. That, they, were, they were both good. So you weren't at Resident? Yeah, it was. Well, it's at the local. It's the brewery. It's the brewery in the back, in okay. the back okay. of okay. The, okay. the bar. Yeah, I've been there. It's nice. I mean, it's actually a nice little pub. It's or, a nice little spot. Yeah. And I was, uh, Food I was, was there. Too, and, by the way. I was only disappointed by the the amount of beer that they had of their own mm. compared to the other rest. beers that they had on tap. I think if, if just I didn't count, but ballpark, and I think they had twelve of their beers on tap when I was there. Well, they must have. It must have been a different situation when I was there because they didn't. They had like two or three. Oh no, that I was, was not... really disappointed. But they might have been refurbishing, so yeah. that's fine. Or with just me. COVID slowed down production. It was before that. Okay. But Steve, how about you? <clears throat> oh, you, you, you yeah, talked yeah, about yeah. Catch. What did you say? Resident. Myself? North yeah. Park. It was uh, Hop Fu. Mm. Hop Fu. My, that's my favorite that's restaurant. Like, that's like setting up on a tee. I, like, I had that. <laughs> I know. I just, like, I love that. It's my favorite beer in town. It's true. I think. Hop you know? Fu is, is absolutely the no, best. No, question, because a lot of breweries do this. Like, he makes Hop Fu. Like... Does he do do a variant of that, like double hot foo, uh, double dry hopped? Hop it's a foo, it's a variant off of off of many different beers that he makes. But they like the hot foo that he does talk about. He's made a few different renditions of it. Um, yeah, I, I it's been a I mean not recently, but there was like habanero hot foo or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not an adjunct. But he guy. he like did talk he, about he 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 ran off a couple of different regards. things though. <laughs> It was pretty uh, interesting, actually. That's so. a good beer. That heart yeah. gets back to like sculpting. You know, mm -hmm. we make yeah. good. We made a good IPA. Now we're gonna add grapefruit, which was good, and now we're gonna start adding peppers. I don't. I never was into the whole like peppered IPAs. I was never into sculpting. So. So he has done. He, he did like hop foo with uh, orange zest and grapefruit. Oh, um, that sounds good. Hop foo batch twenty five, batch fifty. Double dry hopped hop foo and then uh, regular hop foo, but I thought he um, when he was a home brewer, I think there was a, I thought there was like a wow. it might have just been for a spicy beer, you know, like a competition or whatever. He had there's a really cool um, wow. article he put out. Okay, so the, like the final that. beer that that Charlie's popping, what do you got there, Charlie? This is uh, Coralus Double Coralus, I believe. It says Coralus Hazel. Look at the back of it. Number one. Let me let me read the back here. Double Coralus, double bourbon barrel age imperial stout with hazel, hazelnut, cacao, and coffee. 
So they say this decadent imperial stout rested so in nice. Breckenridge bourbon barrels for Ooh, 10 months this, before they transferred it into dude, Weller this, foolproof bourbon barrels gosh, for another 12 months. If this is anything like it smells, it's going to be fantabulous. Then to top it off, they added organic hand-roasted uh, Oregon hazelnuts, organic uh, Ghanaian uh, cacao. Ghanaian. And uh, organic Costa Rican coffee from our friends at Cafe Milagro. Expect your senses to be greeted with the long-awaited aromas of bourbon, caramel, and milk chocolate gives Give way, that gives way to notes of hazelnut fudge. Golly. I don't think we're getting any. Charlie's yeah, hey, taking Come on, man. Stuff we gotta, we, right, and we're all sitting over here with a... Home court advantage. Next time, we, next time I come, I'll pour. <laughs> because I want how much yeah. Charlie has come right on now. It. Here, wait. Here. No, 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 no. no. Oh, yeah. That's better. Good job. That is better. That is better. If I could take a picture and not a video. Gosh, this thing smells legit. Wouldn't folks. know. It's okay. I'll just. You're good. Wow. 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 I haven't tasted it, but it smells, it smells unbelievable. Filler. You want to drink your water? Oh, there? It's another. Oh, it's nice. another. Uh, it's another candle. Oh man. <laughs> Can I get this in a candle? I, so I just smelt it, and okay. I I just want to like. It, it's it's lights out. This one. Yeah, is... I think moving forward, I think Charlie doesn't doesn't pour. <laughs> <laughs> that that's I concur. I vote. I vote. There Charlie doesn't pour anymore. There for Chris. Well, yeah, that's there quite we plenty there enough for go. him. That's more than it's enough. A third of yours. It is yeah. uh, super chocolatey though. Oh my oh, gosh. my goodness! So chocolate. Mm. <clears throat> Dude, so this was. What's that? I, I'm what sorry, that, Charlie. This is this is in the Horace category. It's that good. It smells super chocolatey. It Dad. does, but it tastes hazelnut yep. too, man. I love the hazelnut. I I'm Cheers. a big fan I'm of the a, hazelnuts. Of hazelnut. Oh man, yeah, that's a like, lot of hazelnuts. A lot of hazelnut. Back on the back end. Oh, Double. Yeah. The, the back it's, end. On the back end is all meat. hazelnut. It just blends just super a, well with that bourbon. Why don't they and... do this every time? But I don't um, think it's that easy. No, I think they they have a combination of beers that they need to do. When they find this, they need to repeat it in a slight change each time, either vanilla oh, or man. hazelnut or something else. Yeah, that's their. Uh, um, let's mm. uh, let's take a peek. I, I'll Gosh. say this: like I've had hazelnut beers. This is the probably most forward hazelnut one I've oh, had. Yeah. You can it is nutty. Like it's not like. Oh, a subtle hazelnut flavor in there. It's like after you taste it, it goes down. You're just like, oh, I just chewed on some hazelnuts. And yeah. I, I like that. I'm, I'm a big fan. So they, um, and this is the only bottle of this we got. I don't know if we could have gotten more, mm. but we only, we didn't we order any of it. We should have. We should have. It's amazing. I'm sure they've got a few left over. We could probably wahoos a lot of them. I don't know. But they, if you look at like, they're a pure, uh, pure project. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they're, they're global rating high to low, like uh, forever on Untapped. They have this double Phoenix Lux that they had, uh, Phoenix Lux they made that with. Uh, uh, it was such a they never sold that beer. Right? Basically, the, they made it. And they made it with Horace, but it was so yeah. expensive they didn't like release it. Right? You could um, get you couldn't get a tasting of you it. You could get a tasting, right? Yeah. The, that that's the highest rated beer at a 4.78 then this beer follows that at a 4.75 like the highest rated beer they've ever made and that you know now that i'm i'm gonna savor mine charlie he's got like a six-year supply of it in his <laughs> glass you know there's still some left. hey there's still some left in the bottle i'm gonna hold on to it here so put that under lock and key i that's, i like the subtle bourbon <laughs> flavor of it it's got a little bit of that syrupy, bourbon-y kind of sweetness to it, which I like a lot. Um, I like it a lot. The heat's coming through as it warms up. Let it warm up. This you know. is a 500 milliliter, and I'm positive that it only took 150 milliliters out of that 500. Little, <laughs> right. get little glasses. That little Charlie doesn't know how to count. <laughs> My, I, have a, I have a low goblet-y looking glass. Mm. <laughs> it's a little goblety. It is a smaller glass, I think. Then. Oh gosh, that's that good beer. A really good beer. It's amazing. Pure Project, in my opinion, hundred percent best beer they have made. This right here, best beer you've had there. Other, but as in stout, 
I'll even yeah. go stout and sour. It's definitely the best stout I've had from them. I like the log cabin. Yeah. I I, I mean it's good. Yeah. Like it has its day. You're like, sure. oh, that's that's a good beer. But this this is just like they hit the balance is for me. The balance is the hazelnuts coming through. Mm-hmm. So more, powerful. Like I've had hazelnut stouts and you're like, eh. It, yeah. I there's hazelnut in there, you can kind of taste it, but I love the forwardness of the hazelnut in this one. That's really I, tasty. It's it's more than really it's like tasty. Christmas. It's like <sighs> chestnut roasty. Oh, I, mean, I, would be, fire. I would be interested in seeing Jack Frost <laughs> nipping. Do are we gonna do a Christmas show? Uh, I can't yeah, we, we totally we could. Can. Yeah. Um, we could we could it. also do a show. Like I have uh, you know, speaking of log cabin. We have that log cabin reserve, and then I have all three barrel variants of log cabin oh. from this last year. Well, so it's like four, you know, small bottles of stout, do a stout show, and taste the the different barrels on on three different barrels. Yeah. Oh, I, which I got the none old. of them are gin barrels. Right? <laughs> oh, wait, uh, isn't man. tomorrow Friday? <laughs> it is Friday. Yeah. All day, all day. Dang it! I got some things to do. Hmm. Uh, go up to pier and see if they got any more of this hanging around. So that uh, <laughs> that that log cabin reserve, which is that other bottle, we were either gonna throw this one down or the the log cabin reserve. That's their fourth highest rated beer at mm-hmm. four point six three. But it uh, uh, bourbon barrel aged imperial stout, uh, organic Vermont maple syrup, organic Ghanaian uh, uh, cacao maple aged for one year in a Russell Reserve ten year uh, barrel, and um, yeah. No, that's a great beer. Yeah. How many people checked in their number one beer? That one that they didn't really sell? Two. Um, the Lux. A hundred yeah. and... They would, like, 176. But that was, like, a lot of tasters at, like, yeah, their true. parties or whatever. You know, it was, yeah. like, like everybody that's checking it in. Wow. It's still It's all, good. like, Magnum, you know? It, um, the flavors are getting better as, as it, it warms, warms up. up yeah. Mm-hmm. No, thanks for the rest. Sure. Did. Maybe I got did plenty. Don't that. worry. There are a bunch of <laughs> bunch of small bottles, but you know, maybe maybe they did release it to just they they have two separate clubs. They have the seller syndicate, and then they have an like a a higher level what? club as well. <laughs> what the freaking <laughs> maniac? Gonna, yeah, dump it all in there. We're gonna start adding. Video. I want the schmegma. We should. The video would be fun. Yeah, because you would be. see how Charlie steals all Dane, the beer. I That's a really know. good beer. Hey, so you know, speaking of uh, so we're day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, the there is a. Uh, I want a um, candle that smells like this. There's a bottle share coming up mm-hmm. at North Park. Yeah, you didn't send me the link. North Park Brewing or yeah, just North so Park area? North Park Brewing. Yeah. So it's actually held by. It's going to be held by. Uh, Josh, you want to go? It's like. <sighs> it's just. Kinda a, do. It's an answer, yes or no. It's I kind of do. When is kinda. it? Kinda. It's the, the day after find Thanksgiving. Out. So Life Lab is hosting it. Uh oh. So he's hosting it. With uh, Miami to San Diego is uh, his Instagram handle. He's the la- or he's the society um, man- manager. manager. Yeah, the tapper manager. He used to work at Jay Wakefield. Is he still with so society? I'm not certain. I thought he was. I don't think he is. The guy with the bun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's not there anymore. He's not there anymore. No. Oh, okay. He's still legit. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Nice guy. Oh yeah, he's not. Uh, he's just coast to coast collaborator. Is what he has. Nice guy his. though. He was there for a minute. Yeah. But he's uh, should should we take one of our magnums? I can't go. <laughs> I'm working. I got. One. But yeah, you can. So the the setup. Uh, let's see if it. Um, and Lost Abbey's open now. The down the one down here. Where did it just open? Must have. Where I don't know. I you would think that they would let. Their, I have uh, an email. Yeah, their. Uh, but their club. No, I have not seen anything. May, I just know a bunch of people were down there for. Well, good. They, I'd like it if they chip my beers down there, so I can just go pick them up there rather than driving up to San Marcos. But I'm saying, yeah, I will. I'm not gonna, uh, that email is going to go out tomorrow. Mm. Mm-hmm. All I know is I'm drinking this hazelnutty stout. That yeah, it's that's, it's magnificent. Really it's great. We should do this more often. Mm. <laughs> Trying to get you guys. Okay, so this is the. Uh, this is what the, um, so it's the Shakas and Beers Aloha Friday uh, uh, beer share. Friday, November 26th uh, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. So that's this next Friday. Um, 
75 bucks a pop. Yeah. It's a buy-in to get to a bottle share? Yeah, you don't bring your own bottle. So it oh, says you can do uh, They're doing all the shares. Well, it says the in addition to the beers from amazing local breweries, we've curated some sought after selections from our friends at Eighth State, Equilibrium, Homage, uh, Hidden Springs, Honey Pot Meadery, Jay Wakefield, Moxa, Other Half, uh, Parish, Sancy Daris, Weldworks, Vitamin C. Um, and then Jay will also be pulling out bottles from his uh, personal stash, it says. Baki Kuraja. Yeah, so what it says, your ticket, your ticket includes a welcome pour at North Park. Uh, unlimited shares for the taster. If you don't bring a, it says, um, you know, if you have some some fire to share, uh, bring it if you want. But they ask that you don't bring more than one bottle or two cans. Right, so you can mm-hmm. bring a couple cans if you. But then they give you, a, they'll bring a bottle to share. Uh, you get a shock as a beer taster, shock and beer seasonal item, and a raffle ticket for Baki Kuraja. So. Had it, had it, wasn't impressed. And, uh, Sounds fun, but no. I, I mean, we had it. I, I would go, but I'm, I'm working. Night. What? So. Yeah, you're gonna go with I'm working. Yeah. Well, Way to I'm, jump in it. Yeah, you're trying to buy a Land Cruiser. That's what you're trying. To are buy. you really buy. trying to buy a Land Cruiser? Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> we'll see. But no, it's, you're looking uh, to sell a Volkswagen. We did, we did taste Maybe. all the uh, Life Labs. So. The best one was the, was it uh, like uh, burnt titanium or, well, is that what it was? Yeah, burnt titanium was. It was good. Fantastic. Well, speaking of other fantastic beers, I would, uh, I'd look at these right here and I, uh, I, I think I would go the, uh, the double core, uh, coreless, but out of the, out of the first three, out of the petrified, the searching for sound and the, uh, the moon rider. Uh, I'm going searching for sound. We should probably get somebody from Pure Project to come in and just like dose us up, you know? Yeah, I would say <clears throat> the stout's definitely the best beer we had today. Absolutely. Uh, my my second favorite would be the searching for sound as well. I think uh, just a subtle sour with great great fruiting and well blended was a, a big fan. I'm going to disagree. I'm in the same boat. I'm going to disagree. Yeah. I'm going to say stout and the murky, petrified. It's legit. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Three against one. Yeah, you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, Char- Gosh, Charlie, Charlie no surprise. lost. <laughs> it's usually two against one, but uh... <laughs> until until next time. Cheers, Cheers. boys. <laughs> Look at Chris. You just killed us. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. And compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.